hello and welcome to the channel today in this tutorial i will show you how to create this animated assembly in FreeCAD. and to create this animation i will use the exploded assembly workbench this workbench i'll use to create animated assemblies and also i'll use to create an exploded view that you can use in a text rendering page like in this page here as you can see in this page i have this table i have these three parts exploded and as you can see this first part here we created in the practical exercise 7 to 8 and the second part in the practical exercise 8 to 5 so this is what we can do with the exploded assembly workbench and please if you like my work please support me on my Ko-Fi page so in this way you will help me to grow this channel and to bring me things about FreeCAD so thank you and let's get started to this tutorial to be able to create the animation we need an assembly of these three parts so first here i will show you the assembly of these three parts in the a2 plus workbench so now click in this icon to create a new document and then save this document as tutorial one okay and now here switch to a2 plus workbench okay and now we are able to import the parts into this document so to import the parts click in this icon and from this window we'll import the first part we'll, our first part will be the part 7 8 double click and now as you can see we have this part in this document so this is the first part so let's rename this part here to part 1 okay and the position of this first part here is fixed as you can see here the option here is true but we can make some change in the placement of this part here so for example here in the trivia double click and now change the rotation of this part in this way okay and now click ok and now let's import the second part so again click in this icon and from this window now select this part here 85 double click and now as you can see we have the second part here in the document so let's rename this part to part 2 and now let's change the rotation of this part so here double click and now rotate this part in this way and click OK. And now we have these two parts here. And the next thing to do here is to import these two screws here with this reference. So how we do this in FreeCAD? To do this, we go to the Fasteners Workbench. So here in the Workbench selector, select Fasteners Workbench and now here click in this arrow and select this type of screw okay and now as you can see here in the 3d model we have a new object this screw here with this reference but here we need to change the reference of this screw here to this reference m4 and the length of 14 so how we do this to change the reference of this screw here first we need to select the screw and now we go to the parameters of the object and for example here the diameter we change to M4 and now change the link to 14 okay and now to see the, the treat here in the screen what we do we set through here in this option and now as you can see we have the screw with, the, with this treat here and the correct reference so now we are able to make the assembly of these parts so now let's go to the a2 plus workbench okay and now here to be able to use this screw in this assembly we need to convert this this screw here to a useful part in the a2 plus workbench so first here select this object and now click in this icon to convert this part click here and now as you can see this first screw is hidden and now we have this new screw here so now let's make a copy of this screw here so select this screw and now click in this icon and place this new screw here 
okay so now here we have these two screws these two parts and now let's make the assembly of these parts so okay first here select this edge and now control and select this edge here and now we'll place this constraint here circular edge click in this icon and now as you can see we have these two parts assembled as you can see here in this arrow we have these we have this constraint here okay and now let's assemble these two screws in these two parts here so how we do this so okay for this screw here what we do here we select this edge and now control and select this edge here okay and now click in this icon and now as you can see the screw is, is now assembled so next here we'll assemble this screw here okay so how we can assemble this screw here so first here double click in this screw and now move this screw to the top and now click ok and next again select this edge and now control and select this this circular edge here and place this type of constraint again okay and now as you can see we we finish it the assembly of these parts so the next thing to do is to create the animation of this assembly now that we have these all parts assembled we're able to create the animation of this assembly so now switch to the explorer assembly workbench let's create the animation of this first screw here so now select this part 2 and hide this part here space bar and now rotate this model and first here select this bottom face of this screw here and now place a simple group click in this icon okay and as you can see the position of this screw change it but i want the screw here to go in this direction so what i do here i go to the combo view here in the review i click on this arrow and i select this simple group now and here i will make some changes in these parameters so for example here the distance i change to minus 20 and enter as you can see now the opening duration changed and i want revolutions for this screw here so i change here to 10 and the animation steps to 100 and now enter and now let's play this animation so click in this icon to run the animation and as you can see this is what happens when you click in this icon and now click in this icon here okay and after this opening operation i want this screw here to go in this direction so now i what i do here i select this face here and i create another simple group and i will change this direction here so again i go to I go to the combo view and I select the simple group here and for example the distance here I change to minus 7 okay and enter press home and now as you can see I have this screw here in this position okay so select here again and change the animation steps to 100 and enter and now let's play this animation click on this icon okay and this is what happens so now let's create the animation for this screw here so again rotate this model select this bottom face of this screw here and place a simple group okay and as you can see we'll have to change the duration of the screw so here go to the combo view and now scroll down and select this less simple group here change the distance here to minus 20 the animation steps to 100 and the revolutions to 10 okay and now click in this play icon 
okay as you can see this what happens click in this icon now and okay after the opening operation of this screw here I want this screw here to go in this direction so again here what I will do is to select this face here and place a simple group again and now let's change the direction of this screw here so here select this this less simple group and change the distance here to minus 70 and the animation steps to 100 and enter press home now and now let's run this animation click on this icon okay and this is what happens okay and now let's make this part to visible okay and let's create the animation for this part here went this part here to open in this duration okay so what to do here just select this face here and place a simple group click in this icon okay and now we have this part here in this position so now switch to the front view and okay let's change the position of this of this part here so here in the home view scroll down select this simple group and change animation steps here to 100 and the distance here we can change to for example 8 enter okay it's okay and now press home and click in this play icon again okay and this is what happens so now I want this part here to go in this duration so what to do here rotate this model and select this face here and place a simple group and now here scroll down select this simple group switch to the front view okay and here let's set a distance of for example 50 enter okay 50 is too much 45 and then enter and it's okay um, the animation steps here we set 100 and then enter and now press home and let's run this animation click on this icon again okay and this and this is all for this exploded assembly and here if you want to hide these these lines here you can hide these lines here just click on this icon to hide this click on this icon okay as you can see now we don't have these lines okay so okay let's play this animation again click on this icon now and okay guys this is all thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like and a comment and share this video with your friends and please if you like my work please support me on my core five page so you will help me to grow this channel here and to bring new interesting things about free to the channel so thank you for watching this video